Hello, this is Vic from Falcon PEV here again to show you something new. Right, so every week we aim to bring you something new, something interesting, and hopefully it adds excitement to your e-scooter journey. Right, so because that is the point of all our videos. Our Zero 10X Limited version, and it's got a it's got an unknown feature. It's relatively unknown in the sense that we don't really promote it. But we are going to show you how to program our Bluetooth controllers. So our Bluetooth controllers are programmable in the sense that we can tune a lot of specifications only if you know what you're doing. Okay, so we don't encourage you to tune because all the factory presets are in its optimal form. All the, all the configuration numbers upon delivery to you are already set to its optimal performance parameters but if you want to play around and you know what you're doing you and you have experience doing it hey by all means just watch this video and play around with it okay just make sure you know how to revert to original parameters or settings if something wrong happens okay so without spending too much time explaining let's just show you okay so you for the 2021 versions only for the 2021 versions, I can say for the old versions that were delivered in 2020, but for the 2021 versions, we will have these two programming buttons that we just installed. Okay, so you may ask, so what's the point of me if everything is preset by the factory? What's the point of us you know, having to change any configurations? Now, of course, there are certain situations, like if you are planning to get more boost because you want to do a drag race you can actually tune it in such a way that you can get more boost off the starting line um, just to get the hit right but for normal riding conditions or for off-road conditions you don't want that boost right you want a more consistent current discharge you want a longer term current discharge to preserve your battery life now then you set it to the uh, preset the factory preset settings and that would last you for a much longer time as compared to say if you want to get the maximum boost maximum top, top speed uh, maximum torque so those are the different conditions where you might want to consider uh, changing the parameters only if you know what you're doing otherwise let's get into the nuts and bolts of showing you how to change your parameters okay so we have the front two buttons here on the side in what was previously your charging port right this charging port holes have been changed to programming button holes where the left the right side button is controls your front controller and the left side button controls your rear controller right so if you depress it you're activating it and putting your controller into a programming mode which means it doesn't, it will not run, okay? And if you deactivate the programming mode, right, and then you can start to run it again. So same for the rear controller button, depress means that you're in programming mode, it will cut off the motor, it will cut off the controller, and to deactivate programming mode and go back into run mode, that's how you do it. So we're going to show you how to program with the app. Okay, the first step of course is to start your programming by turning it on. Right? So you will have a Android on Apple because that's the way that's the way the world works. It limits your choices to two. So with that two choices I can't the screen is too bright. I can't focus on anything. Is there a screen adjustment? Yeah, there you go. Thank you very much. Okay, download this app here called the MQCon. That is our controller app. Okay, they have it for both Android and Apple. So no worries. So App Store or Play Store. Okay, so you will come to this screen. Remember, we, we have already depressed this uh, programming button right here. Let me focus it. Okay, you can see that the rear button program programming device is deactivated because it's out and the front controller programming button is depressed in. 
All right, let's go to the back to the app. Hit a Bluetooth device. All right, scan for Bluetooth. But you got to turn on your Bluetooth settings. It's on, okay, because that's the indication. Where is it? Ah, there you go. Okay, let's swipe back up and scan. Okay, if it doesn't scan, if it doesn't get it, that means so you have to turn on your machine first. Okay, and wait a while for it to wait for the controllers to boot up in a sense, and you try it again. There you go. You have two choices here. All right, just uh, click one. Okay, it should bring you into the programming manual menu. Uh, no, that's not a good state. You can't have restart state. Let's try it again. Oh, wait, hold on. I can adjust my. It's in a good state when it says normal run. Okay, flux enabled. All right, let's go into the parameters. Now, these are just a show of the normal parameters that your controllers are operating at. Right, you don't have to worry too much. Now, if you really want to go into the nuts and bolts, okay, now that's the input output, which is basically your current control, right? That's where you control all your different current functions, uh, like your maximum current discharge, your over your boost current, which we never use this, so ignore this, right? The max phase current, that means the max current that gets discharged into your motor and the protective phase current, this is a protection parameter, right? Okay, so, and then there's temperature settings. What temperature do you want the controllers to cut off at? Okay, right now they are not set to anything. Uh, that's fine because uh, we don't foresee that the controllers will overheat with this current configuration. Okay, the function, which is your flux weakening, this is basically, al it allows you to get additional top speed and sacrifice a little bit of torque, right? Upfront torque for more top speed, or else if you turn it off, then you have more torque and a slightly lower top speed. Okay. That's the VGN current, which is enabled. Um, okay, this is the throttle function. So as you're depressing the throttle, what levels of voltages do you want it to be at? So if you're halfway through in the mid voltage, what voltage do you want to uh, send to that controller to tell it to you know to to give the motor the amount of current and hence the amount of rpm that the motor will spin at okay this motor you can limit the, the pole pairs of the motor so all these are basically the functions that you can play with okay so let's go into the diagnostics okay now this test, you don't have to touch anything here because your controller should be already pre-configured and tuned to the motors that you're running on. Now you only have to use this if let's say A, you change controllers, B, you change motors. These are the only two cases where you need to get into this test page. Right? Now to see whether it's normal, right? your offset angle should be about 122. Okay, it's about 122, so that's right and your run mode should be in normal operation so that means that your controllers and motors are paired correctly okay, you don't have to worry too much about the motor parameter nor the given current okay let's get out of here for this dashboard you can look at the error type make sure it's fault free right there's no fault coming from the controller otherwise that's it if you have any questions drop us a comment we would love to hear from you. Ask us any questions about what we just showed you in this video and we'll be sure to respond as quickly as possible. Okay, if not, check out our other videos uh, to do with the 010X Limited because we'd love for you to share and to subscribe to our channel.